Hello everyone, through this video I am going to talk about the right career choice for you whether you want to go in for a job or a business. See in the modern day times people have become very career conscious and they want to have a very, uh, very good social standing and they want to have a good career status. That is one of the reasons people want to be engaged in some kind of career whether it's a job or a business everybody wants to do something in life. So what are the houses, what are the combinations with which we can know whether we are suitable for a job or for, a, uh, for our own business that I will be talking through this video. See the two main important houses which are um, used to uh, judge between a job or a business are the 6th and the 7th house. See the 6th house is all about your day to day activities. So if your 6th house is strong it means daily you are doing some kind of activity which is like a ritual for you. So if your 6th lord is well placed and the 6th house is having benefits then it is a very good combination for you to go in for a job. But the 7th house is about the meetings that you do with the other partner, with the other person. So it is about your business partnerships or about your business. So if the seventh house is strong, it is uh, not having any kind of malefics. And if the seventh lord is well placed in the kendra or in the trines, then you should go in for a business. So this is the first criteria that you should pay lots of attention to. The next thing which I have seen is that uh, the lagna should be very strong if you want to go in for a business. Because if your lagna is strong then it means you can handle any kind of difficult situations that you have to face through businesses. Because in job there is no, no major tension that a person has to go through. But in own work, in own businesses people do have to face lots of issues in day to day life or in their businesses for which it is very important that your lagna should be strong. So first of all uh, you should give importance to the lagna's strength and it should not be placed in your trick houses that is your 6th house, 8th house or 12th house. So this is the most important thing that should uh, be seen. After you have seen the placement of lagna and the planets which are aspecting the lagna, you should conclude its strength. Now benefits if they are aspecting your lagna or if the benefits are present in your lagna, lagna, it is a good possibility for you to go in for a business. Now the third thing which I have seen is that the lagna should make some connection with your sixth house or the sixth lord. So if this kind of combination is there, it may not be there, it can be there. If it is there then it means you have a liking for a job. If your lagna is making any connection with your sixth house or the lord it means you have a liking for a job. If your lagna is making any connection with your seventh house or with your seventh lord then it means that you have a liking for doing your own work. This is my particular observation. This combination may be there or it may not be there. But if it is there then it will speak out loud that the person is wanting to do a job. So this aspect also you can see while you are trying to choose between a job or a business. Now the fourth thing which I have seen is the strength of your third house. If your third house is strong and if your third house or the third lord is making any connection with your 10th house. See 10th house is the ultimate work that you will do. It's your overall career. So if your third house or the third lord is making any connection with your 10th house, in that case also you will like to put in efforts to do your own business. So it's a very good combination for you to choose business. Now the fifth thing which I have seen is that there are four planets which are called as the Puran Paramatmansh planets that is Moon, Mars, Rahu and Sun. These are four such planets which gives you a capacity to do work independently. So if these four planets they are having any connection in your Rashi chart that is in your D1 chart. If these four planets are having any connection with your Lagna or with your 10th house or with their lords 
then it is also a indication that you are a independent worker and you would be more suitable for doing a business so this aspect should also not be ignored after this the fifth point that i have seen and it is the most important thing is to see the strength of the karka of career that is saturn saturn should never be ignored it is the most important significator of somebody's career so if your saturn is strong if it is in its own sign if it is uh, exalted or if it is in its friend sign or if your saturn is in the kendra that is in your 1 4 7 10 houses or even in your trinal houses 5 or 9th house then it is considered as very strong but this combination you should also check in your navamsha chart and in your dashamsha chart if your saturn is well placed in the navamsha chart also and in your dashamsha chart also then you are more suitable to do your own work because the strength of saturn will show that the person will have a strong standing in life see when you are doing some kind of business then you are recognized you will have your own social standing but if you go in for a job then you may or may not be uh, noticed for the kind of work you are doing you may be noticed within your circle of work within your employee circle for any kind of good work that you are doing within the job but if you are doing a business then you will be known uh, to the greater circle of people so that is why i am saying saturn should be strong if you want to go in for your own businesses but if your saturn is debilitated or if it is in its enemy sign or if it is in the 6th house 8th house or your 12th house in that case you should go in for your jobs but many a times i have seen that when this saturn is in the 6th house in your main chart in your rashi chart but it is in the kendra house in your navamsha chart or in your dashamsha chart in that case initially the person will want to do a job but later on he may want to go in for his own business the person will eventually go in for business when the saturn becomes strong in the dashamsha chart or in the navamsha chart so you have to see all three charts to decide upon the strength of planet saturn and then you should know whether you are suitable for your job or for your business the sixth criteria which i have seen in my observation is the planet mercury see while we are wanting to go in for a business mercury is very important planet and its strength should be seen because mercury is a karka is a significator for commerce for business so if your mercury is weak in all the three charts that is d1 chart d9 chart or d10 chart then you should not go in for your own business it means you are more suitable to do a job but if your mercury is very strong then you should go in for a business now after coming to the planet mercury you should also see the strength of planet venus because venus is what it is all about the liquid cash that you will be having see when we we are doing a job at that time we do not have sufficient liquid cash our salaries are paid in check and they will directly go into the bank accounts and the salaries are limited but when you are doing your own work you are mostly uh given the payout in the form of cash and the liquid cash is insufficient so uh, these people will have a strong venus if they are doing their own businesses so please look at the strength of planet venus also to decide if job is more suitable for you or if business is more suitable for you so friends these are some of the areas which i have found that they should be definitely looked into before deciding upon doing a job or for doing a business i request you to please like subscribe and share my videos because this gives me lots of motivation to bring up more uh, worthwhile videos for you so with this i end my video and i want to thank you all for listening